What's up everybody? Welcome to the Amateur Coder channel. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable making videos and stuff, so now you're going to be seeing me in the corner from now on. So today's topic, I'm going to be taking you guys to Flutter Art School, and we're going to be drawing this cute little guy right here. So it's nothing too difficult, but you need to know about the custom painter and the painter class, and go through the initial setup in order to be able to paint anything. And we're going to go through all that, so by the end you'll be able to paint literally anything. But we're going to paint this. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a custom paint class. That's basically where you make your layout for the painter. We're going to do that. You can do you can do it very simple. You can do just custom paint. And then inside you can define the size. So we're going to define it for now. Let's do 200 and 200. And let's say you wrap that in a container so you can actually see what it does. And let's give it a color of, yeah, so you make a nice little square that's 200 by 200. What I want to do is I want to take up the whole screen because I don't know why you'd want just one little square. So that's also not too difficult. Instead of just having a container, let's have a layout builder. And inside the layout builder, we're going to have a builder argument and we're going to have the constraints of the screen that we're in. So we're going to have the constraints of this whole block right here. And then we can just take this custom painter, custom paint that is, and return it. And now let's make this constraints dot max width and constraints constraints dot max height. So, all right, if we save that, now we have this whole canvas pretty much to play with. We can draw anywhere on this whole square right here. So, what does custom paint mean? It also needs a painter. So, we can call it my painter. It's not defined yet. We'll make it easy. Let's define it over here. So, your painter class needs to extend custom painter and you're going to need to override two methods for this so you'll see it says missing two overrides i don't know why it's weird for me but hopefully it works better on yours it should just be canvas like that and that should repaint should have the old custom painter so these are the two fields that will be doing all the painting pretty much. Here you're defining your canvas and where you're going to paint. And this painter is the actual like painter as it says. So the two functions, one's called paint that does the actual painting. And the other one is should repaint. We pass it uh, the old custom painter to so you could check if it needs to be repainted based on something that changed with it. But for us, we're just going to return true and always repaint it. Every time we rebuild, it will repaint it for us. But I don't recommend doing this on an actual app. Make sure you check whether something changed and whether it needs to repaint because painting takes up a lot of resources. All right, so on to the main function. It's called paint. You get past the canvas and you get past the size. So the canvas is what you're actually gonna be doing the painting on and the size is obviously how big this whole thing is. So all right. Let's try to draw a simple line. The way you do that, canvas.draw line. So it needs three parameters. The offset for the first point, the offset for the second point, and then this paint thing. So the paint you could think of kind of like your paintbrush. This is what's gonna be defining how your paint painter looks, like how, how thick the stroke is, what color is, what style, things like that. So let's define our first offset. Find offset by doing this and we'll do just like 100 and 100. So that's our first point. And then our second point, we'll just do offset 200 and 200. So one thing to note is the starting point of this is in the top left corner. So we're gonna see, it'll go 100 over and 100 down and then 200 over and 200 down. And then paint. If we just create an instance of paint with nothing, 
you'll see just a thin, very thin line. You can maybe hardly even see it. But we can add property to that paint. So let's say line, line paint equals paint. And then you could do things like this. So line paint dot stroke width equals 10. And then we can pass this line paint here. And you could be able to look at it. And there you go, a much wider line. One quick way to do this also, instead of all that, you could just do, I don't know if you've seen this notation before, but just put two periods, it'll work the same way. So all right, let's, we wanna bring this back a little bit, start at 50 and bring it down. So 50, 150 will bring it left and down a little bit. Then offset for the second one is do 150 and I don't know, 220. So there we go, we got the first line. So we wanna draw another line of course. And this line we want it to be the same exact thing except from the left side. So how do we do that? Size dot width minus 50. And then same thing here, size dot width minus 150. So in order to do painting, you gotta do a little bit of math, but I think that's kind of the cool part of it. You're drawing mathematically. So here we're taking the total width of the screen and subtracting 50 from it. Just like here we were taking the left side of the screen, adding 50 from here. I think you get it. So now the next thing, we want the two eyes. So we do canvas dot draw circle. What does a circle take? Circle takes an offset, a radius, and a paint also. So offset we're gonna do 100 and 250. Radius, we'll just do 20 pixels. And for this one, we don't really need any properties. So we'll just create an instance right there. Perfect. But I guess since we're gonna be doing drawing two circles, might as well create a circle paint object. But it'll just be declared like that, nothing special. Then draw another circle simple and the same thing we did up there so there's a lot of these properties that you can draw i'll recommend to take a look at the documentation you see you'll have draw arc draw atlas draw circle color rectangle oval all these things you have a lot of options to draw with so definitely take a look at the documentation if you want to do something more complex than this so for the last part we're going to be using the draw arc to draw an arc of the mouth basically canvas dot draw arc see this one takes a lot so you need a rectangle the rectangle basically defines what the arc is going to consist of so basically let's say we draw this rectangle it'll say the arc is within that rectangle so let's define that rectangle first do that doing this and then rect we'll do length from ltwh which is left top with height so we'll do 80, 350, width of 220, and height of 100. So for the arc properties, I found this great resource on Stack Overflow. So this guy says basically how to draw arcs. He explains a little bit and it says rectangle is what the full oval, oval will be inscribed within. The start angle is the location on the oval where the line starts drawing from. Angle of zero is the right side and angles on radians, not degrees. So top is three pi over two, left is pi, and bottom is pi over two. Sweep angle is how much of the oval is included in the arc. Again, angles are in radians. A value of two pi will draw the entire oval. So we will want to use only one pi because we want to draw half of an oval. And use center draws a straight line from both of the arcs. So I'll show this off to you. So we need to import Start math, and we'll just do it as math. And then here, we wanna start from the left. Our sweep angle, we want 
math.py again. Use center, we will do true. And again, we need a painter. So this one's gonna be a little bit more special. Call it arc paint. Stroke width, we'll do 10. But then also we need style equals paint style dot stroke. So actually I could show you what it looks like before if we don't do that. Arc paint. See it's filled in. But then when we do style equals paint style dot stroke, it will just get filled out. So there we go. We finished it. I think the best way to learn all these painter stuff is to just try it on your own. Take all the drawing things, change the properties, see what happens. Like I tried to just do false, see what happens there and it gets removed. So you'll play with all these variables and you start understanding what it's actually doing. And for example, we could do this and mouth gets bigger, right? It's pretty simple. Actually, I kind of like that bigger mouth. But yeah, I'd recommend you just try to draw some stuff. Draw lines, arcs, circles, rectangles, try it all out, change up the properties and you'll start to understand it. Then if you're actually trying to draw something legit, I would say grab a piece of paper and then figure out all the calculations on paper and then try to implement it. But all right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe and share and thanks for watching.